Hello everybody, and good evening from Tokyo, although it might not be evening where you are. It's evening here, and now this is why I'm at home, talking to my microphone and swilling some beer once again. And tonight's beer is Kirin Norogoshi Nama, which is a, um, well, it's a, a much uh, cheaper brand of beer that I'm drinking tonight, but uh, that's okay, because I was feeling kind of cheap anyway. Um, and tonight, uh, I wanted to sit down and record one of these, because I was in the mood, uh, but didn't really know what I wanted to talk about yet. And after chatting with my uh, my good buddy Tikio Sam, um, he brought up the fact that I just recently uh, graduated from college here in the fine city of Tokyo, and it might be uh, you know worthwhile to talk about my uh, uh, academic career, such as it is uh, here in Japan. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. Um, and it's something that, um, you know, other people interested in uh, attending college in Tokyo. Uh, maybe you can take a few pointers from me. I actually do have uh, a couple of friends that, uh, because of the info I've given them about, um, you know, the schools here, uh, they've actually taken that step towards um, going to college in Tokyo. And uh, there are two schools in Tokyo that are uh, American schools. They have their home campuses in the United States, one in Wisconsin and one in uh, Philadelphia. And I'm a graduate of both of those schools, so uh, I guess I'm something of an authority on the subject. Um, a bit of uh, history about me, though, uh, which is something I think a lot of my viewers already know, but I used to be uh, in the military. I was in the uh, United States Air Force for a little over seven years and for a big chunk of that time I was stationed at Yokota Air Base which is in West Tokyo. Uh, so a lot of you, if you remember like way long ago uh, some of my uh, uh, earlier videos um, I had my, you know, always had my uh, nice short haircut and uh, all those hard off videos and everything I shot, uh, a lot of those hard offs were actually right around the base where I was stationed. Um, but after being there for uh, about four years and having a serious girlfriend at the time, um, I decided that, uh, you know, when it was time to leave Japan, I would, um, you know, I had one year left on my contract and so. Uh, I would not renew my contract, and I would come back to Japan to live with my girlfriend and go to school. And uh, I did both of those things. Um, th what the issue became was, um, while I was still in the military, I was taking classes um, uh, online, mostly. You could take uh, classes through the uh, University of Maryland for free and then you could take other online courses like you know whatever University of Phoenix and that kind of thing um, so I was taking classes online and I had applied to Temple University which is I believe it's the oldest and largest foreign university in Japan and it's a pretty you know highly regarded school so I had applied there initially and was fairly confident that I was going to be accepted uh, because I had, you know, a strong GPA and everything. And um, uh, another important aspect of these schools is that both of them being American schools, they accept GI Bill benefits, which it was my intention to go to school uh, using those benefits, which is like a sweet deal. They pay for all your classes. And you even get like book stipends and uh, living allowances and things like that. So I thought that was a really great deal. So I wanted to go to Temple and was assured of my uh, acceptance and then came to Japan ahead of my acceptance. And then while I was here, uh, they told me that I had been denied. 
and uh, that was kind of a bummer because I was only here on like, you know, a 90 day stay on my passport and then I would have to leave again. And so I was really like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And um, one of the academic advisors there or the student relations people, um, they suggested there was another school in Tokyo that um, has a higher acceptance rate because the, the issue they had was I had a good GPA and everything but they wanted me to have more like coursework, like in a classroom, you know, kind of thing. And so there's this other school, as it turns out, in Tokyo called Lakeland University Japan. And Lakeland, um, their home campus is in Wisconsin. And the program they were offering here was um, a two year course even though it is a full four-year university and the idea was you do two years uh, at the school here get your uh, associates and then depending on your GPA you can get a scholarship of as much as uh, like eight thousand dollars and then go and finish your degree at the home campus in Wisconsin so I applied to Lakeland and they were, um, yeah, like I said, they have a higher acceptance rate. Uh, they took a look at my grades, and then I went in and had an interview with the dean, and they were like, okay, good to go. So I got accepted there, and they even uh, accepted a whole bunch of transfer credits. So I actually only went to Lakeland for two semesters before I graduated. And while eight grand seems nice, I, I wasn't really in a hurry to move to Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Uh, so I instead, uh, upon graduation, uh, I reapplied to Temple and then they uh, accepted me. So I started going to school at Temple. And I will say about Lakeland, um, it was a pretty awesome school. Um, if you're looking at schools in Tokyo, uh, Lakeland is one to consider. Um, it's a smaller school, but I actually really liked that. I liked that their class sizes were smaller and I got, you know, more... Uh, I guess uh, kind of like direct interaction with the professors some one-on-one -on -one time wasn't hard to get with professors there and uh, a small enough school where it was like you know you really felt like you knew everyone on the faculty like the the librarian there I used to when I would go to the library to you know use certain materials or check stuff out I could usually chill out and talk with him and uh, everyone up on the top floor too all the administrators and everything everybody there was like super cool it was like a very laid-back uh, environment, which for me is the best kind of environment uh, for learning. Uh, stress can kind of, I mean, there's good stress and there's bad stress. And if you're overly stressed at school and you don't get along with people, um, that can just, you know, that makes uh, just a more, um, I don't know, like a difficult learning environment. That that wasn't the case at Lakeland. Lakeland was uh, super cool and uh, had a great time there. But again, I just if it would have been a four-year school, I may may well have just stayed there instead of transferring. But as it was, yeah, Sheboygan uh, wasn't really in the cards. So after I graduated from Lakeland, transferred to Temple. Temple is a considerably larger school, uh, larger class sizes, but uh, still it was a great school. I did, um, you know, really uh, enjoy my time there. The professors uh, were all amazing. I was a communications major, so I was studying a lot of uh, journalism and um, film most of the film classes I was in though were more like film like theory and critique and things like that but there were some production courses and uh, broadcasting I did take a course in broadcasting which was excellent but yeah a lot of journalism and journalism research and modern communication type stuff which involves a lot of social media um, but yeah Temple was a, a fantastic school you do meet a lot of um, uh, military veterans at both schools um, because a lot of guys and gals had the same story that I did which is that they were stationed in Japan either with the you know the Air Force or the Navy mostly and then maybe like some Marines and, and Army personnel uh, they were stationed here really came to uh, just you know love the country and love Tokyo in particular and just really wanted to come back and it just seemed like uh, college in Tokyo seems like such a great way to uh, experience it because, um, you know, it's it's a little odd, I will say that, for like people who are military veterans, you spent like a number of years, 
you know, active duty, and so, like, when I started college, I was in my, like, late 20s, I was, like, 28, and I'm going to school with, like, you know, 18, 20-year-old uh, kids, and there's, like, a little bit of a, a, like, a generational gap, I guess, so, um, I don't know, it's, like, I mean, there are organizations that are specifically for, like, veterans, so, like, they, you know, you, you still tend to have, like, cliques forming and people, like, people that can relate to each other tend to gravitate towards one another. Um, but generally speaking, like, the vibe, the atmosphere at both schools was great. Um, just, yeah, Temple, a bigger place and, uh, bigger classes. Not quite as much one-on-one -on -one time with professors. Um, but overall, the professors were great. I will say, um, at Lakeland, I was uh, on the dean's list and could have gotten like an eight thousand dollar scholarship to uh, to their home campus in Wisconsin. And then at Temple, you know, I, my GPA fluctuated a little bit when it came to like my major classes, anything related to communications. I think I finished with about a three point five uh, GPA for like my major, but when it came to like um, everything else basically uh when you factored in some of my crappier grades in like math and like um uh, philosophy humanities type stuff those things are really not my forte so i think my overall gpa was eventually like somewhere close to like a 3.0 which still you know i'm happy with um but yes i just recently as in this last semester uh graduated from temple and i'm very happy to be done with school and to be back, you know, working, um, not regular working, I'm kind of doing like a, I'm trying out something right now where it's, uh, working, you know, a uh, part of the week and then other part of the week, like kind of like freelancing and trying things like that. Um, I'm trying a sort of a non-traditional, uh, work schedule right now and, uh, hoping for the best, but you know, if, uh, Two or three months from now, it seems like things aren't working out, then, yeah, I'll just take on more work. Say, hey, give me some more hours. Or take on, like, a second, uh, you know, position. Because the thing is, that, and this could be, like, a whole separate video, um, but when it comes to, like, work out here, especially when it comes to, like, teaching positions, it's very easy to find uh, jobs that really only need you for, like, a day a week. So some people, they'll have uh, a job here and there and there. So they work at, like, three or four different places. And every day they're getting up and going to like a different school. And um, I'm not doing that yet, but that, that could be an option at some point in the future. But that's not what the video was supposed to be about. The, the video was supposed to be about sort of the, uh, the experience of uh, going to school in Tokyo, which was great. Because the schools themselves, like I said, are both like American schools. But they function as more like international schools. So the student body is like roughly half Japanese. And then the other half is people from all over the place, from the United States, of course, but also from Canada, from the UK and other parts of Europe, from other parts of Asia, you know, uh, the Philippines and Indonesia and uh, China and Korea and uh, from the Middle East and Africa. It's just a uh, really huge, um, very international uh, student body. I'll put it that way. And uh, I learned a lot, not just from the classes themselves, like the, the content of the classes, but also just from kind of like spending time with people, you know, hanging out. I had some, uh, you know, friends from Kenya, and I didn't know the first thing about Kenya, so I learned all about uh, Kenya just from like hanging out with some, uh, some fine folks I met in one of my uh, uh, Japanese intermediate classes. Um, and so stuff like that, I really... Uh, sort of like cherish and appreciate as well just um the opportunity to meet people and uh learn and gain some skills and uh i've got you know not just the bow hunting skills not just the nunchuck skills uh but now i have the communication skills as well supposedly i don't know i don't know how proficient i am at communications you guys can inform me on that but yeah uh definitely um, for anybody that's considering uh, attending college in Tokyo, Lakeland University and Temple University, I'm going to leave links to their home pages uh, down in the description. If it's something you're thinking about, 
uh, go and look them up and maybe talk to, you know, a student advisor and uh, see if maybe it's uh, it's not the right move for you. It was the right move for me. It's the right move for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, like I said, no better uh, place to go to college. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. I only went to college in this one place. But for me, this was the best place I could have gone to school. Right here, Tokyo, Japan. My favorite city, my favorite place on the face of the earth and that's the truth and that's all I got to say because uh, again you know I do these I, I, I open up talking about what beer I'm drinking and then I just talk and talk and talk and the beer just sits in front of me waiting for me to continue drinking it which is what I want to do right now so again uh, college Tokyo great experience if you're interested links in the description go and check it out people and that's it and until next time thank you so much everybody for listening take care and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>